Hello everyone. So let's uh, take an example of how to uh, use this Win uh, Search DB Analyzer, which can search Windows EDB files. And in my opinion, uh, at least based on current testing, it's probably the best until now. Uh, so let's first mount an image, which we will extract from the image, the uh, the database that we want to analyze. I'm going to do device right. I'm going to do a dereference and I'm going to store the dereference. It's a matter. I'm going to start on the desktop. No problem. Now this is mounted on, you can see, got mounted on the D drive. Okay. So let's see. Okay. We don't need this now. Okay. So let's go here and open so it's on the program data and uh, let's go to microsoft and then go to search and then go to data then applications windows and then you can see here is the adb so let's copy that over here now, if this ADB is corrupted, so let's assume it's actually corrupted. Okay, so let's assume that. Because I'm not sure if it is or if it's not, but let's let's assume it is. Uh, okay, so we can see the, okay. So what we can do is use the ESEN util, okay? And then use, if I do this, you'll see the options available. And we want the slash P, this one, the repair. So you can do that. So if we do this again, then P, Windows EDB, it will tell us that you should only run repair on damaged or corrupted. Uh, so let's do that. Uh, so if this was damaged or something, it will get repaired. I'm going to do another video just so I can have a truly damaged uh, EDB but on my I'm using now a Windows sandbox uh, so there is no uh, there is no really Windows EDB here so that's why I'm just gonna use this one for now and then after that if we use uh, WinSearch DB Analyzer and go to file open and then specify it from the desktop so if we specify this and say parse normal records and you can there are other options you can check like delete, uh, recover deleted records etc i'm gonna do open uh, i'm gonna pick the time zone uh, if i remember correctly this one was etc minus eight okay save and now it's gonna be telling you what are the items you want to parse I'm going to go with the default because, by the way, the default is still a lot. I don't think that the default does not show you anything. And now if we go to file, for example, or go to categories, we can see all of the uh, PNG files that were seen on the system. So you can see these are files here. Uh, let's say LNK files, all of the LNK files that have been indexed. Uh, JPG files, all of the JPG files that have been indexed. If there was any text files all of those indexed and then if we go down here we can see the drive and the root and the volume and then you can see under uh, each one of these what type of data do we have okay we can see all of those and the files that have been indexed so whether this one whether uh, that we can see all of the files that have been indexed by uh, this uh, with this search database okay we can see all of those that have been indexed by this search database so that's it for uh, this video i just wanted to show how to load the windows db uh, windows db here where is it located and how to fix it so just a reminder esent util okay and then slash p and then the database it will uh, repair it for you and then you can use it with uh, Windows uh, or WinSearch DB Analyzer. Okay, so that's it, and uh, hopefully, we'll see you in some other videos. Thank you, and have a good one.